Okay, so the transmission's in. More importantly, the uh, slave cylinder is in. The transmission was about as awful as you could expect. Uh, that slave cylinder, though. If, I, I'm not a big fan of uh, automotive mechanics. Uh, I can barely tolerate working on my own stuff anymore, to be perfectly honest. But man, mechanical linkage to the throwout bearing. Why is that such a difficult concept? Why do you need these stupid hydraulic systems? That slave cylinder is goddamn awful. If you can farm this out, just get somebody else to do it. I can't even honestly think of a better way to do that. So... Uh, I'm going to chalk this uh, whole experience up to a, uh, a bad master cylinder. I, I swapped that out. It, it was still absolutely awful, but I got it in. I got it working, so whatever. Uh, the, you know, you hear about people talking, people talking about, oh, Jesus Christ. You hear people talking all the time about how you need two people to, uh, Bleed your brakes, unless you got one of those uh, those canisters. Well, I just use one of these inside there. The uh, on this truck, I at least got a hole in that, so you just hold it on there, give her a little squeeze. Let's see what did I do exactly? I had the brake pedal depressed, uh, had the valve open already, and. You can actually bleed your brakes by yourself. You can bleed these clutches by yourself too by just uh, shoving something up here against the pedal, depressing it. This You don't need two people to do this. I don't know why everyone says that. You just shove it in there and you wedge it in and use the cushion of the... Uh, that's great. Use the cushion of the, uh, the seat to add your uh, spring to your pedal. You don't need two people. Uh, I don't know why people always say that. So... It, that was pretty awful. That was terrible. You know, two hours screwing around with that stupid slave cylinder. It's done. I'm done. God, that was awful. Uh, so other than that, yeah, I just, uh, you crack the valve on the bottom, you give her a little squeeze of air, go back under there. Uh, that'll at least clear the line out mostly. And then you can start pump, pump, pump. And, uh, you know, wedge something in there, go under there, crack it for a second, come back up, pump, 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 wedge it back in there, go back under, crack the valve for a second. That's, uh, that's how I always do it. So, other than that, uh, I wanted to mention this truck. The reason I took the transmission out of it was synchro mesh and second gear was blown out of it. Uh, really common from what I see in the forums. And as I mentioned earlier, with uh, with these transmissions, I'm, I'm running a synthetic blend in here. The case on the transmission I'm throwing in there was pretty ugly looking. So I'm running this uh, cheapo in there for a break-in period. And then I'm going to drain it, put some better stuff in. It was uh, pretty ugly looking. Transmission I took out of there, though, with the blown synchro mesh and second gear, they decided to run that gear oil in here and you know maybe that's why it prematurely failed because it does the drag on your synchro meshes from rubbing, running that heavy fluid uh, is what seems to throw the timing off and uh, and then you take out your synchros prematurely the only other thing I wanted to mention was your frame bolts try to uh, put any C's on anything you can and uh, I didn't really lock tight much. You might want to throw just tiny little dabs in your uh, bell housing bolts because there was one loose when I came in here into this truck. So not just a little, just a tiny little bit, you know. Don't torque the living daylights out of it either. So that's all I wanted to mention.